The Public Policy Cycle Public policies are essential for family farmers to lead the transformation towards sustainable food systems. The Public Policy Cycle model is a useful tool to analyse complex public policy processes. It can help actors to better engage in policy-making processes for family farming. In this example, the Public Policy Cycle model is applied to the development of an Indonesian law on the protection and empowerment of fisher people, fish raisers and salt farmers. The need to protect the rights of farmers and fisher folk entered into Indonesian national debate at the National Conference on Agrarian Reform and Farmers' Rights in 2001. Thanks to an earlier successful mobilization of civil society around the law number 19 in 2013 concerning the protection and empowerment of farmers in 2016, the National Committee of Family Farming called for specific measures targeting fisher people, fish raisers and salt farmers. These efforts were successful. The Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries agreed that the challenges facing fisher folk have to be recognised by government. This is called agenda setting. To formulate a policy for coastal areas and small islands, the government collected information and assessed the challenges of fishers and salt farmers. This process involved consultations between the People's Representative Council, the government, private sector, civil society organisations including the fisher folk. One of the important discussions focused on how fisher folk should be defined by the law. Three essential articles of the legislative text were developed to specify the criteria and characteristics of the policy beneficiaries, the fisher folk. The law also specified different instruments to support them. This debate on the different options to address a public problem is the formulation phase. Following a series of public hearings, the People's Representative Council introduced the draft law to the Indonesian House of Representatives, which deliberated and adopted the law in 2016. In the implementation phase, different administrative levels of government are involved at national, provincial and district levels. At the national level, the policy is implemented by the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries under a dedicated regulation. The Ministry established instruments to reach fisher folk, including the Trusted Independent Fisherman Insurance Programme and other loans to provide funding for the development and diversification of fishing businesses. At the provincial level, the West Java Provincial Government issued a local regulation that provided a fisherman's insurance card to guarantee the protection of fisher folk from health-related risks and accidents that occur at sea. The cycle is completed with the monitoring and evaluation phase to assess the effects of the policy, whether it achieves its objectives and how it could be improved. For example, are there opportunities to increase the policy's coherence with other programmes? The policy process for the support of the fisher folk in Indonesia takes into account and interacts with other policies and governmental regulations, for example with the Presidential National Development Plan. All those policies together, in the end, will have a joint impact on the lives of fisher folk. The learning framework on policy cycles for family farming can help to build an enabling environment to reach the objectives of the United Nations Decade of Family Farming through contextualised and well-targeted policies contributing to the Agenda 2030 and to sustainable food systems.